Hello YouTube, this is 1984 Terminator here, and today I've got a uh, comic book haul video for you guys. Um, I have two surprises for you guys at the end, a number one and a first appearance. So uh, I'll save those for the end. So uh, yeah guys, let's get this video started, shall we? It was a light week for me this week. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five Marvel and one DC this week. So let's get started, shall we? Avengers issue 18. Infinity now has started. This is an Infinity tie-in, and I'm really hoping that this big Infinity thing pays off in all the Avenger titles and all the uh, non-Avenger titles as well. So Infinity, Avengers issue 18. This is one book I'm really excited to read this week, and that's Daredevil issue 30. Not only because Daredevil's my second favorite Marvel superhero, but uh, this issue features Silver Surfer and I'm really and I'm really excited to see how Mark Wade handles Silver Surfer and also this com and also featuring Eisner Award winner Chris Samney, best penciler and inker for Daredevil so this has won another Eisner Award so Mark Wade, Chris Samney, keep it up Another Mark Wade book, Indestructible Hulk, issue number 12, Age of Ultron Aftermath. Uh, this is the uh, Agent of Time, uh, Mark Wade, Matteo Scalera. Scalera's artwork is great for this book. So, Mark Wade again has been doing wonders with this book. Great title. <coughs> Um, th this one, uh, this one, I'm kind of curious about because uh, this one's got Superior Spider-Man, and that's Nova issue seven. It's got the Superior Spider-Man on it, and I'm wondering how Superior Spider-Man and Nova are going to react. It looks like to me that in this issue that they're going to fight. So, yeah, I'm 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 excited. I'm excited for this one as well. That one's from Marvel. From DC, we have Superman Unchained, issue number three. Scott Snyder and Jim Lee. Jim Lee really knows how to draw Superman. He he draws the hell out of Superman. And Scott Snyder, right now he's got a great handle on DC's two on on DC's two iconic two of DC's iconic characters, which is Superman and Batman. So Scott Snyder, keep up the great work. I've really been enjoying this series so far. And the last book that I have here from uh, Marvel for this week is uh, X-Men issue 4. Oliver Coypel is not on the artwork on this issue. It is uh, Lop uh, Lopez. And this is the last, well this is not the last issue of the series. This is the last issue of X-Men before uh, it becomes part of the Battle of the Atom crossover. So it's going to probably be like a one-shot story. So yeah, guys, that was my new books for this week, and now on to the uh, first appearance and the number one. First off, the number one. Here's the number one I got, guys, and um, that is this. Deathlock issue number one. I picked this up today in the uh, bargain box at my local comic shop. Uh, I don't know much about Deathlock other than what uh, Sly Cooper 88 has told me about Deathlock. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to read this and, uh, and give you guys some insight on it. And now here's the first appearance. Um, unfortunately this is the second printing of this but nonetheless it is a first appearance and I'm very happy to have it. The New Mutants, number 87, the first appearance of Cable. Yes, it's the second printing, but still, it's the first appearance of Cable, and I'm happy to have it. So, so yeah, guys, that was my uh, comic call for this week, uh, plus the two surprises for you guys. Um, I will be giving you guys my review uh, video um, sometime this weekend, and I'll tell you what my pick of the week is.
And, uh, and yeah, guys, so this is 1984 Terminator here saying keep reading, keep on collecting, keep on gaming, guys. And also, please let me know in the comment box below what you guys got this week for comics. And, uh, and yeah, so, and also what you guys think about my number one and my first appearance. So this is 1984 Terminator here. Catch you guys later.